Howdy cowdies. Weekly walkabout at the collector. Hope you're going good. I don't care. <laughs> We've been busy again. I think this is the third last auction of the year. We've got lots of nice stuff. A lovely little Perthshire paperweight there with a little flower to the inside. It's got a little signature cane on the stem of the flower. Some nice vintage perfume, miniature perfume bottles and their contents. The Lanvin set. And the nice little Goya black rose. We've got a ladies 9 carat Rolex. And next to that is a ladies 14 carat white gold Whitnauer. Which I, I think are made by Longines. It's got two nice little diamonds in it as well. Lovely perfume bottle over the back with the sterling silver cover. Got some amber beads. Really nice little trench art. Uh, World War II ashtray. Some Markazite jewellery. There's some nice silver fob chains in there. And there's some other bits and bobs of jewellery as well. So there's some nice stuff in the cabinet. Nice little pair of modern sort of oriental style bedsides. This is a nice little Victorian frame chroma lithograph. And I think she's saying to him, no, Johnny, it's not a budgie shaped go-gurt. <laughs> cool little retro dining suite. The table with the drop side. You've got four little chairs and the matching sideboard. All in pretty good condition. This little chair's got needs a probably maybe a lick of paint. All right, but the rest of it's really in good nick. It's a fantastic little sort of dancing gypsy lamp there with the big sort of fringed shade on it. Really like this little sort of 1920s tortoiseshell cane. The little chair is in great condition. It's got all the blue and the red sort of banding on it. You've got a great little retro outdoor table and bench. There you go, the bench is a bit worn. It's seen a few summers. Menu log delivery driver helmets. Some jazz records. Uh, some nice vintage ladies' clothing again. Some cool pairs of shoes and heels. you got some actually some motorbike leathers. Old Mars jacket with a pair of matching Mars pants. And there's all bundles of ladies' clothing again. There's some cool gear. Some great retro colourful stuff. This little pink one's a ripper with the little arrows sort of down the bottom of the trim. More motorbike leathers. This is a fantastic old biker jacket with a helmet. The jacket's just a ripper. What else have we got? Cases with cases, stereo gear, PA speakers, a couple of good turntables, nice Rotel receiver, all light shades and lamps, a little lot of sort of retro ceramics and a Dalton Taddy tobacco jar, and this box goes with that stuff. What else have we got? A little lot of occasional furniture, got some interesting railway stuff. There you go, steam engine driver certificate. Some other bits and bobs in there as well. Don't think that should have been in that lot. I reckon that was in there. So that's just railway stuff. That's where the Volksy manual goes in with this lot. There's some lovely old tins and stuff in amongst here. Old bushels tins with the raised animals and Razawadi tea. It's a nice, nice big lot, this. Um, some gaming gear. These are all kids... Cassettes and records, all sort of story stuff. Some copper little troughs and some brass items, including what looks to be a little theodolite or something. Tools. Some crocheted rugs and stuff. Ladies' hats and accessories. There's some more cool gear in amongst here. Good lot of CDs. Lou Reed, Kiss, Bush, Nirvana, Weezer, deluxe edition of the Blue Album. Yeah, so we got live. It's a good lot of CDs. A little record player with a little Bush radio, which looks like it's retro, but it's pretty new. More sort of materials. Some railway gear and other ephemera. Some nice little enameled signs. Corner cabinet. Stereo gear. Signs and other stuff. This is a good mixed lot of furniture. You got a little kangaroo back, a pair of emu backs. You got a nice little sort of arts and crafts table there and a little ebonized one as well. And some other chairs. It's just a nice group. There's a nice little sort of modern rush seated chairs. Go with the two little sort of oriental looking storage boxes. Got more lots down the back of CDs and some interesting books. 
A nice little plant stand. Some typeset trays. A couple more bits of stereo gear. Big lot of tools and stuff. Um, some phones. Big lot of Hot Wheels mint carded. Little nest of three tables. This is a cool big 19 Malmo or something. 1960s Australian made lounge suite. Couch is really nice, that nice sort of mid-century design on the couch and the two armchairs, slightly different design, but all with the same brand. Nice big 1930s gilt frame print. It's pretty cool, the trunk there from Corporal D. Garland, 77 Squadron RAAF engine section. Old Underwood typewriter. This is a cool lot of all sort of medicinal, medical sort of stuff. There's bottles of pills. All sorts of stuff in amongst there. Fly sprayers, good little lot of cameras. Kitchen alia. This is a pretty good bit. This, the engraved map of Port, uh, Port Western Port Bay. I think it's 18th century, something like that. Early thing, this is a good thing. Um, Jan Neal watercolors, nice. The Jock Freighter print, which is signed by him in pen. There you go, a portrait of Lena Bryans. Uh, Peter Nuttall watercolours, really nice. English modern artist. And these are cool. Some Australian movie posters signed by... That one's dedicated and signed by... Do, 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 uh, Angela Punch McGregor. And this one's signed by Kim Lewis and Jackie Weaver. There you go, Squizzy Taylor. And these are more here as well. Chant of Jimmy Blacksmith. Once again, that's signed by... Angela Punch, Jackie Weaver on the Stork posters, and there's another one in amongst there as well. Caddy, and old Jack Thompson. Cool little, cool groups, good things. What else have we got? Another nice old Pears print, some more movie posters. There's a big French one sheet of uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, English China, advertising pocket knives and some rulers. Little group Aboriginal painting, a little oil painting as well, which is signed DK and dated 82. And a little plate, some Limoges china, Porsche, three nice old kettles and perks. A couple of cool phones, stop and go. More nice perfume bottles. This one's the right stopper, but it just doesn't quite fit. And that's the wrong stopper and it does fit. <laughs> All right, some good comic books in that folder. Nice bottles of perfume, fire hose nozzles, a Pontiac Vibe, Essendon Football Club, 1984 empty Premiership Port Carafe. Two nice little perfume bottles. They're really fine glass. This one's lovely with a sterling silver hallmark collar. Alfa Romeo 118, some good little sort of motoring tins and stuff. The rip and old pears print. Really nice bit in their lovely original frame. She's cool, a 70s teak uh, diver. You got a nice little fan, and over the back is a pretty cool Bonza caterer's can opener. This is nice, the big coffer bin. Uh, scales with pans and their weights. Another group lot of cars, including the Startsky and Hutchmobile. Limoges, good quality English china. Nice lot of glass. Taxi rooftop light, nice retro 70s horse head lamp. Guess it's better on the bedside table than in bed next to you when you wake up. <laughs> Old typewriters. This is pretty cool. This is a light that actually works. Plugged in, tested, and it works. And it's off an old runway. Runway with an arrow pointing that way. Big heavy duty metal top on it. Just a cool thing. That's light's quite dim, but just a cool thing. Good group. These are all old sort of shop prices. Peter's ice cream uh, ruler. Binoculars with a nice old bell. Big lot of jewellery. Tobacco tins. And this nice little West Clocks clock. Just needs a bit of mucking around, but little pixies on their mushroom tick backwards and forwards. Uh, Franklin Mint 118. I think it's a 118 scale Rolls Royce Silver Ghost. Good little lot of Australian pottery. English ceramics, Dalton Australian cabinet plates, coloured glass, Dalton Rabbi Rose, 
Good little group of Wedgwood and Dalton and Copenhagen and stuff. Another nice little Alfa Romeo 118. A couple of bits of glass. European ceramics, including the big jumbo moustache cup and saucer. Yeah, the TVR. Damn cool car. This is nice, the big oak clock. A lot nice light stained oak sort of classical case. Nice lot of oriental ceramics. A little heart shaped perfume bottle. Nice lot of Dalton series wear down the bottom. Big sort of classical EP serving terrain. Uh, the novelty Lingard, I think, teapot. And the novelty Maratumo Japanese teapot. It's a nice Japanese charger. Toyota Corolla 1100 Deluxe is a fantastic little sort of bent top cigarette holder or something like that. Here's a little ripper. Uranium glass, nice little lot of oriental with the snuff bottle and this nice little sort of perfume set. A Corvette, 427 Corvette. And some other nice bits up the top. The Etling Deco French Etling glass platter has got a fracture through the bottom here, you can see, which is a bloody shame. Uranium glass fridge box we've put with that. The nice Art Deco John Bennett tea set. Another nice bit of Art Deco, the little Scotty Dog tray. Clossone, Japanese art glass, hand-painted Victorian sort of milk glass. And he's nice, the uh, Chinese enameled ginger jar. Quite a large one. And that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't care if you did or if you didn't. See you guys tomorrow night. Be good.